Beam down smoke. All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another episode of Investment Odyssey. Our journey continues to get a massive amount of profit. So if you didn't watch the first episode, I recommend you go do that now to see how we went ahead and start off this episode. But if you haven't watched it, a quick little recap of how this series works. Basically, I'm going to be investing $500 budget total into this series. And then after that $500 total is invested, I'm just going to try and make $1,000 by any method with that $500 that I invested either by trading or whatever else I want to do. With that out of the way, let's take a quick look at SkinBay and then get started with this episode. All right, guys, so if you didn't already know, I have a SkinBay link, and if you use it, I do get a little bit of support from your purchases on SkinBay, and obviously you don't have to pay anything extra. So if you are considering buying things from SkinBay, be sure to use my link in the description below, and that'll support the channel quite a lot. So thank you guys so much for that support. If you do buy anything on SkinBay, be sure to at me on Twitter or let me know in Discord, and I'll tell you what I think of your purchases. So anyway, guys, thank you for that support, and now let's get straight into this video. So I guess throwing it back to the RPG theme from the previous video, one major thing that you need in any RPG to succeed is a super powerful weapon, usually a really strong sword, for example. And in CSGO, there doesn't really exist a sword, but there does exist a lot of boss killing, very powerful weapons. One of those super powerful boss killers, of course, being the op. Ops are an absolute staple in the world of CSGO and, of course, in the world of CSGO investing as a whole. So the only real question is, which one do we get? Now, there's quite a lot of ops to choose from, but the one that I'm going to go ahead and decide on actually trying to get is going to be the op Asimov. The reason for this is because the op Asimov has been trending very, very well over the past year and a half or so, and it has basically just been making people passive income for those that own one and obviously we're going to go ahead and max it out and go ahead and get a field tested one because we didn't spend all of our budget from the previous episode of $100 per episode so we are going to spend a little bit more this episode up to $100 which is meaning we are going to be able to afford this nice op Asimov. Now also along the RPG theme one of the interesting things about the op Asimov is it is actually a throwback to one of my earliest videos on this channel raising my sword.mp4 kind of a weird meme video that I made but basically it shows me getting an op Asimov from a trade up which I guess means that op asimovs equate to swords on my channel for some reason but i guess it does fit the rpg theme so that's why we're going for this so in journeying for this amazing item we went ahead and started at buff because as we know buff has very low prices for items like this however the prices weren't exceptionally good or anything like that so i went ahead and checked out cs.deals and they had very similar prices to buff and i went ahead and spent just a little bit extra just so i got the op instantly and it wasn't on trade hold and also because the op that i got actually had a better float than the lowest priced one on cs.deals so I ended up spending about $52.20 on this op, which is well below the Steam Market price, so we did save a bit of money there. So with that said, we now own a beautiful op asthma field tested condition now in our inventory and placed into our portfolio. So of course I added the op asthma to our Excel spreadsheet, but because the current prices were being a little bit weird with the security levels on Excel and they were getting deleted all the time, I went ahead and just manually entered the prices so I wouldn't have to deal with that. Obviously I'm going to try and find an alternative in the future, but clearly that's kind of just what we have to do, at least for the time being until I figure something out. But yeah, that's what we currently have. It's now on the Excel documents and we can move on to the next item for this video. Now again, back to the RPG theme. Obviously in RPGs, there's very old ancient magic, ancient magical texts and books that you can find all across an RPG world. And one of the greatest ancient items in CSGO that could be a very good investment coming up soon is the P90 Death by Kitty. This is one of those items that's been around in CSGO forever. It came from a 2013 release case, so it's absolutely ancient for sure. One of the first skins ever released of the game, and also one of the only covert P90s in the entire game. The other one, of course, being the P90 Asimov, and absolutely a very old and rare item only getting rarer by the day because of, you know, nobody opening the case just since it's so old and not really all that profitable. Plus, the P90 actually looks really good in-game. So I went ahead and picked one of these up. The challenge here was the fact that the P90 at Death by Kitty was not really listed for a good prices anywhere on any site just because of how rare it actually was. On CS.Deals, they only had two listed and one of them was a little bit too much that I wanted to actually spend on one of these things. Plus, I wanted to get a field tested one just because, you know, there's not a lot of difference in terms of in-game wear between field tested and minimal wear. They both kind of have a lot of wear on them regardless. So I went ahead and just went for a field tested one. 
and I went ahead and used Buff for it just because no other cache site was giving that good of prices. So using Buff, I was actually able to get a really good deal on this thing after I transferred over the Arcanas that I bought on CS Deals to get balance on Buff. I was able to actually pick this thing up for $20, which is $8 less than its Steam market price, so definitely a huge discount on it for sure. I went ahead and opted for one that was actually a .18 float just because, you know, lower floats are obviously going to sell easier if I wanted to ever sell the item. And of course, the item also had four chicken stickers on it, which doesn't really add a lot, but it only costed one yuan more, and it makes the item easier to sell to a buyer, so that's why I went ahead and picked that one up. So after sort of a long wait, we were able to get the item into our inventory and add it to the Excel document, so that's now there. I actually wanted to mention something interesting that I noticed from this trade. So on CS.Deals, they actually have Arcanas available, you know, standard Arcanas that are actually good, like Manifold Paradox and Fractal Horns. They have them for about $17.80 roughly. However, Manifold Paradoxes tend to go for a bit more, around $18.50, but at the moment when I actually bought the Arcanas on CS.Deals, Manifold Paradoxes, the usually more expensive ones, were actually going for about $17.50, which was really good. That's actually pretty cheap for Manifold Paradox, and they also sell more on buff, so I was actually able to scalp a little bit of extra balance off of buff by doing the method of buying these Manifold Paradoxes instead of the Fractal Horns. So I don't know if these are still going to be available for a long time on CS.Deals, but if they are, you can buy Manifolds on CS.Deals for around $17.50 at the moment, which means you can get a bit of extra buff balance if that's the method that you're taking. And moving on to the last item for this video didn't want to extend this one too much and we didn't buy that many items so clearly this episode is going to be a little bit shorter but basically the items that i bought for the last few is i went ahead and went on the steam community market and bought three more gold web foils because these are a little bit lower right now they're at about 384 which is a pretty cheap price for them and i decided to go ahead and pick up three more and hope for the best on those so i went ahead and purchased three more gold web foils for about 11 dollars 50 and that's going to go ahead and cut off the rest of our budget i also went ahead and added these to the new spreadsheet just the extra three and I went ahead and averaged out the price that we paid for the three of them and the price that I paid for the one of them kind of a rough average obviously didn't really do the math but that's where we ended up with the four dollar buy price area so we are still a little bit negative on these but I think they're just going to go up in the future don't really have to worry about the current price of them right now because we're not selling and with that out of the way that's going to go ahead and wrap up this video thank you guys so much for taking your time out of your day and out of your quarantine obviously to come check out this video I know you could be doing a lot more things like playing video games but i really do appreciate you spending some time to come check out this video and if you're watching the live premiere hey guys what's up <laughs> so with that being said really do appreciate your support on this series i really hope that this can grow into something amazing be sure to use my skin bay link in the description below to support the channel be sure to subscribe to the channel for notifications about all new uploads and get the information about investments before anybody else and also of course be sure to join my discord server and also follow my twitter in the links in the description below be sure to check out the next episode in exactly two weeks from this upload date i'll see you all next time peace